Every day promises March 13th a new washing. When the kindness and the love of God our Savior towards men appeared, not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to His mercy He saved us through the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Titus 3, 4-5 In the modern world, there are a number of cleansing agents available that there is a lot of publicity going on to promote them. But then, why do we fail to advertise the most effective and powerful spiritual detergent God has provided us freely, that is, the blood of Jesus? Out of sheer ignorance, people run here and there for salvation. No river water can wash away man's sins. Neither pilgrimage, nor any human or animal sacrifice can remove one's sins. Neither good works nor religion can take one to heaven. Only the blood of Jesus can cleanse one's sins and make him as white as snow and as pure as wool. Isaiah 1.18 This is a new washing that may sound foolish to those who are perishing, but to us who believe and are saved, it is the power of God. 1 Corinthians 1.18 for God chose the foolish ones from the world in order to put the wise into shame. We are living in a sin-polluted world, and it is possible that our body and mind get contaminated by the unholy environment. So we need a washing at least once a day. During your night prayer, the first thing you should ask Jesus is to wash your entire system through his blood. Teach it to your children also. As long as we are in the flesh, there is a chance of committing sin knowingly or unknowingly. Similarly, in the morning, you should surrender your body to the Holy Spirit and ask Him to take full charge of you. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I apply your precious blood with faith upon my mind, heart, body and soul. Wash me clean so that I may be made worthy of my Master's use. In your matchless name I pray. Amen. Verse for the day. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to the multitude of your mercy. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Psalm 51, 1-2 Have a blessed day.